Hey guys, this is DJ John Joke. Welcome to my second tutorial. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a drum and bass sound, you know. I have uploaded a free kit again for you guys. You can download it free. The download link is in the description of this video. And yes, if you got it downloaded and unzipped, um, you got a folder, alright? You just uh, copy it and paste it into the following folder. You go to um, your local disk drive, program files, usually image line, then you go to your FL Studio, data, patches, and packs, and then you just paste it there, alright? Here we are. Okay, you can close it, then you go to FL Studio. You go to your browser. Okay, it's like this. You go to Packs. Here we are. There's the folder Drum and Bass Kit by DJ John Joke. All right. So first, we open uh, the step sequencer for a new pattern. It doesn't matter what uh, pattern is selected now. It's uh, pattern twenty. First, I show you some drums variations for drum and bass and I gotta say the BPM usually is from 160 beats per minute till 190 beats per minute and uh, yeah I just add the uh, kick number one and the clap and the very basic drum is like this, you know, um, the clap is every time same, you know, it's the hit, it says how the, how fast the beat is, and it's placed on every second bar on the re first place of the red bar, alright, and yeah, this is very typical. Yes, you can variate it like this. Or you make the bars longer and then you could do something like this to variate. Or better, this one is very, it's, it's used very often. Or like this. Oh, you could do it like this. Oh, like... I don't know. Like this. No, no, no. Um, for example, to variate. Hmm, like... Hmm... Like this. Okay, there are very much variations. You just try and find your style, okay? And yeah, to make the clap sounding better, you can just put two snares or claps at one time, so I've used clap, this clap, and snare number one, we got it here, okay, and at two times now, at two uh, snares or claps at one time, it sounds better.
you press CTRL and uh, left mouse click and then you can select everything you want. Now I select the uh, uh, length in the playlist. All right. <laughs> You know the effect here, for example, you see them, it's nice, it's uh, typical for drum and bass. It's the shopping effect, um, for example, we go to a free space in the playlist and I add the pattern number two, which my basic drums, so we use the slicer and just cut some places out you know we go to this one to the main snap and choose a half step or yes one minute <laughs> all right and um, for example we can cut off the kick this one and the uh, free space between the kick and the uh, clap no we don't need this one here so we can something we can do something like this or maybe yeah just variate and do it like you want and then you can you could uh, chop the clap maybe you would choose the paint like this Okay, this was the kick, but it's okay too. And where is the clap? You could cut it and do something like this. know it that's it just play around and here copy then paste it here and oh no <laughs> paste it here and then I've changed just the uh, ending to make uh, action and then uh, the listener Get to know, all right, there's a uh, there is coming a new part, you know, and yeah, so it was like uh, this, just like in the beginning. And then I've changed it a bit, I've put the clip uh, more often. Like this, for example, or you could do it like this, or how I added it, and then you can hear this. <laughs> All right, then we are coming to the heads, and this one here is just a crash. I've just drag it into it and then um, you can change the volume if you go to audio clips. Alright, then I've added simply the heads. Okay, if you were asking uh, what's this here, the automation clips, this one is for um, the kick. I've just uh, clicked on this kick and then 
right click on the uh, volume button then create automation clip then we got it there and yeah the volume is the same every time but then when the kick is chopped like this I make it uh, like it's fading in you know the volume here is uh, down and then it uh, becomes louder it's just an effect and yes for the clap here because at the ending the claps uh, so often I just put the volume a bit down because it uh, was a bit loud when the clap plays often like this. Alright, then I simply added the head I sh showed you before. And then listen. That's the basic structure of the drums. Simply kick, clap, and then the heads. All right, now we are coming to the bass. You guys all have oh, all have the plugin which I used, Poison, and I could do a list for typical. Um, drum and bass v uh, VSTs and plugins just like Massive. It's used very often, but it's uh, you gotta pay for it. And uh, yes, the Poison is in Fruity Loops already. Close this browser. And yeah, I've choose the bass big button. If you choose it. It will sound like n a normal bass, like this. Yes, and then I've changed a bit for my to get the drum and bass effect. You know, you go to cut off. Push it till fifty percent, I think. Yes, and then the rate. Put the rate up to five. All right. Then we got this nice effect. <laughs> And yeah, I ju I've just created a melody. You know, um, I copy it for saving. <laughs> <laughs> 